Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of my favorite products. For November, I couldn't really think of any brand new products that I haven't already shown in a favorites video, so I thought I would do an entire tutorial using my very favorite products, not just from this month, but from the past few months of all time if you will. And I had so much fun doing this look. I think it is definitely the epitome of me. I think if you see me on the street and I am wearing makeup, it probably looks something like this. And the products that I use are certainly tried and true favorites. So if you'd like to see how I get this look and what products I use and why, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start with my face first because typically when I do just my normal go-to look, I typically do like a warm brown type of situation, so I don't mind doing my face first. I know it's not going to be super colorful and get all over. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I am going to prime with the Farsali Skin Tune. I have really been loving this this month, so I wanted to use it today. And I really like this. Uh, I did find it in the beginning that it's a little bit hard to like get out of the bottle, but it actually like kind of holds in the little tube like for a while after you're done squeezing. So just like keep squeezing on it and it'll continue to come out. And I really do think this kind of like blurs everything out. Like not rub it in on one side. I'm still sick so sorry I sound like I'm out of breath because I am. <laughs> but you can kind of see like right here my pores versus like this side. Pretty, pretty nice. The next product I'm gonna do is a foundation, and for that I'm using two. I'm using, I think this was a favorite from last month, still a favorite this month, the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Ah, oh, the combo on these is amazing, and I highly suggest if you have one of these to pick up the other for just like the perfect coverage and finish. Fabulous. And I'm just gonna mix it together on the back of my hand and put it on my face. And then I'm gonna blend with a beauty blender. I love this foundation combo. I think it gives a great coverage. It makes my skin look really smooth and flawless. And who doesn't want that? I do think it's the mixture of the two foundations. Sometimes I find the Too Faced one to be a little like clingy where my dry patches are. And the NARS one doesn't have as much coverage as maybe I like or need sometimes. Let's be real. So I like the two together. The next step is concealer. I love using the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in Almond. And I just think that this concealer is really great. I don't think that it really like dries out my under eyes. I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow primer. I don't think that this concealer sinks into any of my fine lines or clogs my pores too bad. I actually really like this concealer by itself. I think it has nice coverage but it doesn't look unnatural. And I was doing that a lot when I was gone for Thanksgiving. I would do just like a really natural look, just some concealer. A little bit of powder in my T-zone area, mascara, a little gimme brow, 
but I really wasn't doing like bronzer or anything. I would maybe put on a little blush to give me some natural color back, but I thought it was really nice. So I really like this concealer. The next product is a loose powder, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know it's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fair Light. I love using this powder. I think it's very inexpensive. It does the job. It comes in different colors. And I think it makes my skin look really smooth without drying it out. I love this powder. I would rather I would rather repurchase this powder seven times than buy another one of those Laura Mercier powders. I know I've used it, but it makes me look really white and dry and I just don't reach for it like I reach for this one. Personally, for my oily skin, I like to use a powder foundation. So I use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. And I love to apply that with a nice big brush. This is the Morphe E41. Mine is very well loved. And I just love this combo. I think it helps give me some color and some coverage, but the brush doesn't like pack it on, it just kind of brushes it on. And I bring it down my neck, even under the eyes. And I do love that powder, I think it gives a nice smooth finish to your skin, it's a great color, and I really love the MAC Studio Fix line. Now this is usually the point in time where I may or may not do my eyeshadow. I'm personally going to finish my face and then move on to my eyeshadow. So I am going to use my Park Ave Princess palette. I love this palette. This is definitely a favorite. I believe I've had it in a favorite video already. And I like to do my bronzer first. I like to use the Morphe R2 for this. I love this brush. And I also use this shade here for my bronzer. I take the side of my brush and rub it along. Tap it off, put it in the hollow of my cheek. If there's too much product, I just bring it onto the forehead and then use the entire brush to blend the rest. Then with the same color, I like to take this large shader brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I love this brush. And I take the same shade, tap it in and tap it off. And then I take the flattest part on the edge of my nose. And I like to bring it up into my eyebrow. I like this bronzer color because I am pretty warm, but I don't like a red bronzer. So I feel like I've had some issues finding a good bronzer, and I think this one is really nice. I personally don't like to contour my nose, I just like to bronze it up on the sides. I think it ends up making it look a little bit more natural. Then for contour, I love my NARS Eda brush. This brush is amazing and I'm gonna go ahead and take the two matte shades in the palette one is warmer and one is cooler and I like to mix them together tap off the excess and I'm going to put it in my cheekbone and see how because we bronze first it blends a little bit better you can bronze after but I find it's easier to know how much contour I need after I'm done bronzing. And I bring it up on the forehead just to even things out under the chin. Then I like to take my BH Cosmetics Dual Fiber Brush and I just like to blend in the contour with the bronzer and blend everything. Out. I want it blended out so it's not harsh and it looks 
relatively natural. The next thing I like to do is kind of go over where I may have over bronze, which tends to happen a lot. So I like to take my Morphe R10 and the two light shades from the palette, and I just kind of mix them. And I put this anywhere that I want to add a little bit more light or clean up my contour or bronzer a little bit. So under the eye, throw a little on the lid, on the nose, blend out all that bronzer, forehead. Now I'm just going a little too far in on the forehead, under contour. And the chin. And then I take my same dual fiber and I blend all of that out. Now I blend before and after this step because I feel like it really helps me get an idea of where I need to put the bright after all of the contour and bronzer is all blended out. The next product is blush and this is another one of those where if you've been watching my videos for a minute you know what I'm going to say. I'm using my Luxie 504 brush with the Note Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. And I think we've all seen this before. I love this blush. It is perfect mixture with my bronzer. And I think it gives me a little color without being too much. It blends out really nicely. I just think that it is just the perfect color for me and my skin tone. And then again, I like to blend. And it just kind of blends into the skin. The last step for my face is highlighter, and I am going to be using my favorite highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter, and I just think this is the perfect highlighter, especially for this time of year. You don't have to be very tan to wear this. I think it gives off such a great glow, and I like to use this with my Morphe 504 brush. I just swirl it in the product, tap off the excess and put it on the high points. Just like, I think that is perfect for the holidays, for the winter. It's not like too gold or anything, so you can wear it with like a silvery look. Bam! Before we move on to the eyes, I'm just gonna finish off the face with a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this stuff. It is so nice, and we're just going to pat out all of that setting spray, bronzer, powders, there we go. Super natural face. So I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to do our eyes. So for eyeshadow palette, this would not be a favorites video if I did not use the Friendcation palette. Now I could use uh, some other palettes and I definitely did think about this. I could use the Jaclyn Hill palette, the Shan XO palette I could use. The Soft Glam palette was also a favorite. So good, but honestly you guys, if I reach for a palette, I reach for this one. I want this one. This palette is perfect for me. I love it. So I wanted to include this in my favorites video because it would not be a favorites video if it did not have this palette in it. The first shade that I'm going to go into is Necessary and I am using a Morphe M511. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. And then I'm gonna take a Morphe M573 and Churro. And I'm gonna put that into my crease just to deepen it up. In with the first brush. Just gonna blend all that out. For the shimmer shade, I do like to put a little bit of the NYX glitter primer down. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And I'm going to take my MAC 242 brush. This is my all-time favorite brush for doing any type of packing on 
to the lid. Since I'm going for my go-to, I can call it like my signature go-to glam. Just gonna do a little bit of a half cut crease. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with just a kiss right here. And I like to drag and tap the product onto the brush. And then apply onto the lid. This is just like a really champagne color. Just like to blend it with my finger a little bit, just like that. I'm just gonna quickly do the other eye. Such a pretty champagne color. And then I am gonna put just a little bit of the Cheens shade, which is this one mixed with churro. I'm just gonna tap that on the outside a little. And then I'm just gonna go in with my first brush and blend. Yes. Okay, so this is pretty much my look. I'm gonna do the under eye really quick. I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes. This is a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro brush. And it's just a little like small bullet brush, but it is perfect for my under eye. And I'm gonna be taking that necessary shade. I am going to hold my mirror up and look up into my mirror. And I'm gonna blend this under the eye. And then with a small pencil brush, this is a Morphe E36. It's very little. I'm gonna take that churro shade right here and I'm gonna put that right up against my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with that BH Cosmetics brush and blend. Then some of my favorite eyeliners are the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. This one is in Corrupt. I use this all the time. It's a sparkly kind of dark brown and I love it for my waterline. And then after I apply that, I like to blend it out. Okay, so then I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using my favorite, the Goof Proof Brows Pencil in the shade four. Brush the hairs up, one underneath, one on top, fill it in, brush it out, fill in the sparse areas. Now I'm just going to go in and highlight my brow bone really quick. I'm using the same highlighter, the Amrezy highlighter. And I like to use this flat BH Cosmetics brush. I also have a Sigma one just like it. And then what I like to do is take my brush that I do my crease shade and just kind of blend that together. My next favorite product is the Stila Glitter and Glows. I did get a pack of three little mini ones as well as I do have a couple that I have purchased the full size. So I'm going to be using one of the little trios. This is called Kitten Karma, and I'm going to be putting that on my inner corner. And I'm just going to take that little flat shader and just kind of pat that in. Just for a little sparkle in the inner corner. Pretty! I am using my favorite combo of mascara. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara and the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Such a good combo. Such a good combo. So what I first like to do is use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise because it does get kind of clumpy. But I like it because it really makes my lashes black. Coats them nice and quick. And also the lower lash line. And then I take the Wander Beauty Mascara. And this kind of helps separate them out. 
And that is my favorite mascara combo. Now, when it comes to fake lashes, there are many different options. I feel like lashes are a mood. And today, I'm actually really liking how this is looking. I got some mascara there. I'm gonna wipe it off later. Just ignore it. Today, I kind of feel like looking a little bit natural. I feel like my go-to could or could not include lashes. It kind of depends on my mood and how I feel. I do have two favorite lashes that I wear all the time. The first is the House of Lashes, Lashes in Iconic. I love these for a nice dramatic lash. I think they have a nice cat eye effect and they're a little spidery so you can still like see the eyeshadow without hiding the eyeshadow but they're also dramatic. I really like these. These retail for about $12, so they're about mid-range lashes, I would say. The other lash that I highly suggest is the Christina lashes. I get these on Amazon. I like the DW ones. I have tried the regular WSP ones, but they are a little bit too long for my eye shape. So I really like the DW ones. They're basically like a Demi Wispy. They're very similar to the Ardell Demi Wispies, but they're a little bit cheaper. I think I get a pack for of six pairs for about $12. So I don't think they're expensive. I usually wear them a couple times and then throw them away. I find them very easy to apply. The lash band is very nice and I think they're very user friendly. And they're also very lightweight so you can wear them for an extended period of time. As I said today, I don't think I'm going to be wearing lashes just because I feel like being kind of like natural today. Now that we're done with our eyes, we're gonna move on to the lips. The first thing that I'd like to do is line my lips. I do have a few different favorite lip pencils, but my favorite by far are the Kylie liners. They are creamy, they last a long time, and I feel like I'm not constantly sharpening them all the time, and they have the best colors. The color today I'm using is Malibu. And then I have two favorite liquid lipsticks. The first one is the Jouer Lip Creams. I think these are so good. They're pigmented, they last a long time, you don't need a lot, they're creamy, they don't dry your lips out. Yes. The only thing is they're a little moussey. So if you're not into a moussey formula, then you probably wouldn't like these, but I think these have such great lasting power for how non-drying they are. My other favorite lip is the Casey Holmes Palladio in Rescue. I love all of the colors, but this one in particular is so good paired with the bare color. I think this is like my number one favorite lip combo that I have done and I just cannot get enough of it. So I'm gonna put the Rescue color on first. And you really don't need a lot. Such a gorgeous, ready brown color. And I'm just gonna blot really quick. And then I'm gonna go over with a layer of bare. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it is so pretty for just an everyday glam. I guarantee if you saw me on the street and I wasn't feeling out of the box, this is the exact look I would be doing. These are my favorite products, an entire face of my favorite products. I have tested these products. I know I love these products. I know they look good later. I know they look good now. And I just love this look. I hope you guys do too and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. I'm a little bit more fair right now, so I'm a little bit more fair right now. But it thinks Duke. Hey. Let me know where you up there, Duke. Down, down, down. Hey. Let me know where you at, you. Is a little bit.
little baking powder. I love, <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm sorry that my eyes have a little lash glow on them. 